The costumes for hay fever are set in the 1920s, so we're looking at not high fashion, but affluent fashion in the 20s in London. There's a little bit more refinement and sophistication. But the challenges were really trying to figure out how to give each character their own individual look and also share a little bit of information about their given circumstances. Not all the characters are from the same socioeconomic class, although some of them are trying to act like they maybe are a little bit more affluent than they are. In the 1920s, the corset started going out of style and this play is set in 1925. So for the women, it's the first time that this part of their body has been free enough to be able to use it for seduction or just feel like things can be received as, as a full body instead of something that has been kind of contained and tightened. They can feel things in their breath and they can feel things straight into the heart because they're not bound up. It's easy. You know, you come into the room, you know everybody, there's not that weird getting to know you kind of phase. We all understand each other's like intricacies when it comes to uh, comedy especially. I think that's one of the hardest things to try and develop with a cast member is to understand, okay, are you going to pick up this cue and, and what are the subtleties you're going to give? And so in a play that's this difficult with you need to be on the timing, on the line, give a glance, know when to let the other person kind of breathe a little bit, um, I think we're saving ourselves a lot of uh, time. I think that's probably the best, the best thing about coming back with this ensemble. The things that Gerald um, uses for us um, as a metaphor in rehearsal is music, um, like the idea of a symphony orchestra. And each character is a different instrument in, in the thing, and we decided that Clara is kind of the gong. So things will be going on, you hear trumpets and trombones and percussion and all this stuff, and then Clara comes in with just this one-liners or something that just kind of cuts people off at the knees. So my character speaks with an RP dialect, which is what you consider a normal British dialect. It's definitely different working in a different dialect um, because you have to find a lot of the musicality in the language in that dialect that doesn't really exist in kind of my more standard American or my normal way of speaking. It's kind of an endless series of tiny details that go to playing a character that's different from you that is really challenging, but it's also so much fun to play with. 